All right, so what's up, everybody? It's been a while since we've been in this setting. Um, I'm gonna call this new series The Commuter. And basically, since I'm always in my car a lot, you know, this is where I can take time to maybe talk on topics, um, answer questions. Um, I had talked about this a long time ago when I hit 10,000 subscribers. I had, you know, had this idea since I'm always in my car, you know, I can answer questions, different things while I'm just driving, you know, because I'm just chilling, I'm like sitting at a stoplight right now. But, um, anyways, dust and stuff. But anyways, um, the first thing is not really a, a topic. I just wanted to basically um, answer a question. Um, and it's a, it's a kind of funny question because a lot of people ask me it all the time. They ask me, uh, what is it? They ask me, how did I get my name? Like, how did I name myself Bullet RC? Like, where did that name come from? So I'm gonna take some time out to answer that. All right, so wait, my, I gotta readjust my arm so I block all the sun. Basically, my name, if you guys didn't know, when I first started off my channel, it was about RC cars, uh, nitro power, gas power RC cars. I used to be really into them. I actually still have it. Um, my original RC car that I used to have, I still have it. I just don't really mess with it as much as I used to. Actually, I don't mess with it at all. I'm not even going to lie with you. Um, so basically, I have a $300 hobby, uh, a very expensive hobby. That was my, my, that was my expensive hobby before shoes. Um, I loved RC cars, loved them as a kid, and you know, you could customize them, make bodies, you know, paint them, all that stuff. It was real cool. If you're into nitro RC cars, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but anyways, um, so that's where RC came from. It was basically my, my, you know, thing with RC cars, and hopefully, I'm about to take a right, so don't worry, y'all. The sun isn't going to be in your face forever. But anyways, that's where that came from, um, the RC part. Now, the bullet part came from, I was just surfing on YouTube. And um, I came across this this movie called Bullet. I think it was like a cop or something. He drove like a green Mustang. Um, I'm pretty sure some of you have seen it. And I thought it was a dope car. Because if you guys don't know, I, I like muscle cars. Like I like older cars. Um, you know, I'm like an American muscle. I like those type of cars. I don't mind like imports and stuff. Those are cool too. But my main you know favorite is like a 1972 Camaro or like maybe a Chevelle or maybe a dart or something like that like I, I like those older cars so that's where the bullet part came from so that's where you get it bullet is from a movie rc is from nitro rc cars and i really wish i would have never deleted those videos because it would be funny to go back and actually watch them um i had a second channel too and i think i got rid of that as well like i had a second channel um that was all rc cars there was even videos of me um doing RC car stuff like racing and all that like I had that but um what happened was I guess I can just kind of go into what started me into getting into shoes too I mean my dad always was into shoes so since he was in the shoes it kind of just came down to me um and basically what happened was uh one time the first shoe it was for the eggplant half cents right uh, those shoes were coming out and I really really wanted them and I was just on YouTube So I was like, yo, let me just search up to see if anyone like talks about the shoe You know what's going on with the shoe. So I searched eggplant half cent on YouTube and the first video that I popped up was sneak geeks now if you don't know who sneak geeks is he was really 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 popular um, Maybe a year or two ago. Um, he basically was the person who got all the shoes early, showed all the shoes early, showed you what they were gonna look like, everything, super early. Like, he was always the first to have it. Um, and it's funny because I sort of do what he does. Like, when I started my YouTube channel, I never thought I'd be this big. Like, 30 plus thousand subs, um, 10 plus thousand views on certain videos, and maybe 100 plus thousand views, um, views on certain videos, uh, what, three point something million uh, views in total. Like, I never thought I'd be this big. And um, so anyways, back to Sneak Geeks. Uh, yeah, I used to watch Sneak Geeks and um, sheesh, man, what's up with the sun? All right, wait, wait, this is not gonna work. I'm gonna just move my head, there you go. So <laughs> what happened with Sneak Geeks was basically, um, I watched his videos like, yo, that's dope. Like I didn't know people, you know, made videos and stuff on shoes. So the first video I ever did was on the Air Max 95s, um, the, the hot red color, and it was horrible. Um, I'll probably just link it in this video, so if you want to go check that out, you can, but I'm just telling you, it's, my voice is totally different, camera is just not good at all, and y'all basically can see where I started off from and where I'm at now. So I do that, and you know, of course, I get a couple of views. I'm just starting out, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna, my channel's not gonna blow up overnight. 
Um, that's another misconception people have. Dude, you're not gonna blow up overnight, um, for real. Um, it takes time, it takes effort, you know, it takes money, uh, <laughs> first and foremost. Because a lot of people, nowadays, since there's an opportunity to get free shoes through different sites and stuff, that's all people want to do. Like that's their that's their main focus. Hold on, let me let me shift. I'm gonna just drop like this now. Um, I gotta shift with the sun. So a lot of people's main focus nowadays is all they want. It's like not even like a love for the kicks. It's like ah, I just want to start a channel and try to get free shoes. And I feel like when you do that, if you if you set your up like that and you're just that's all you're trying to do is ah, I try to get free shoes, trying to get free shoes. You don't. It's not. It's not enjoyable because. At that point where maybe you don't get free shoes or you're not getting those followers, you're like, yo, what am I doing wrong? It's because I feel like you're just not in the right place. Like, you're doing this just to get free shoes. So you're not having fun. You're not really up here for other people. You're not up here to interact. You're just up here trying to get uh, some free shoes from somebody. And I just feel like that's not where I started my channel off. A lot of people ask me, you know, how did you get your channel? I didn't start this channel just to get free shoes or blah, blah, blah. That didn't come across until this year. You know what I'm saying? It took me money, copping shoes, working, doing new videos, working. A lot of people ask me, how do I get money for kicks? I worked. <laughs> like, I don't understand. You, I work. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a job when I was 16, and of course I worked. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not of age to work, there's not really many avenues for you to get cash real easily. Um... But one tip I will give you, a lot of people's parents also tell me that, or not the parents tell me, but the people tell me that their parents hate this little shoe thing they love. Uh, the parents are like, they don't see it, they don't wanna spend any money on it. And really, to be 100 with you, like if your parents are like that and they're not gonna throw money at you for shoes or not gonna uh, contribute to your shoes or your hobby or your passion, you're just gonna have to wait, man. You know, these shoes are always gonna be around. You're just gonna have to wait until you can afford them yourself. And that's how I did it. Um, my dad was in the shoes, of course. I mean, coming up, I'm not going to act like I didn't have, like, the nicest, newest shoes and stuff like that. I always had the newest Jordans, the newest Nikes when I was growing up. But at a point, when I can make my own money, I didn't want people to spend money on my shoes. Of course, I can ask for a pair of shoes here and there. Why not? But what I'm saying is, when I started my channel, I took the time. Um, I'm probably going to reiterate this whole, like, channel thing because um, people were asking me that in the question and answer um, post I put up on Instagram. But... It took time. I don't think people really realize how much time and effort that a lot of us YouTubers put in this channel, how much money we put in this channel. Like, I started my job, I bought shoes, I bought shoes, I bought shoes, put reviews, I bought shoes, put reviews, got comments back, got the hate back. And some people even hit me up and say, yeah, but you know, I make these videos, my friends make fun of me. You don't think people made fun of me as well, but look where I'm at now. And you know what, those same people that made fun of me, you wanna know what they asked me for now? You wanna know what they asked me for? They asked me where can they get shoes at? Hey yo, can you hook me up with these shoes? But two years ago it was like, what are you why are you on YouTube showing shoes? But now it's oh, um, you know those gammas is coming out. Yo, I know you can, you know, kinda get hooked up sometimes. Yo, can you hook me up with some gammas? No. 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 Because two years ago it was a totally different story. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are coming out of the woodworks as well. Um, just trying to get some free kicks. Or not free kicks, but just trying to get kicks in general. Um which is granted that's just that's just the territory you know what i'm saying but anyways guys that's basically i'm gonna wrap this up anyways if you enjoyed this let me know it's kind of more of a me and you just talking or me and all y'all hope y'all doing great y'all look great um or whatever <laughs> so it's just me kind of just talking to y'all you know what i'm saying just chilling you know i'm not doing too much not too much is going on so on my way to work anyways if you enjoyed this please let me know and if you have any topics or questions please leave them down below because of course i'm talking i need wait son i need stuff to talk about you know what i'm saying so anyways thanks for watching guys please rate us like comment subscribe and i'll see everybody on the next video hope everyone's having a great day and um love all the fans and followers